Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve equations with the distributive property on both sides. Let's jump into number one, where we have six, and then in parentheses, x plus three, and parentheses equals two, and then in parentheses, four x minus one, and parentheses. So we need to figure out what x equals here. Since we have parentheses, let's remove them by using the distributive property, and that's the first thing that we're going to do. Remember, when we use the distributive property, we distribute what's on the outside of the parentheses to the terms inside of the parentheses. So on the left side, we need to distribute six to x and three. On the right side, we need to distribute two to four x and negative one. So on the left side, we have six times x and six times three here. So that gives us six x plus 18 equals, and then on the right side, two times four x gives us eight x, and then two times negative one gives us negative two. So we subtract two here. So now eight x minus two on the right side. Now that we've removed the parentheses, we can see if we have any like terms that we can combine on either side. We do not, so let's move on. We do have a variable on both sides. And remember, when we have this, we want to get the variable to one side. It does not matter which side though, either the left side or right side will work. But my suggestion, look to avoid negatives as far as the variable goes. And we can do that by getting rid of the one with the coefficient that is smaller in value. So the number in front of the variable that is smaller in value. That's going to be 6x. That means we need to undo or get rid of the 6x on the left side of the equation. Now that's a positive 6x. So the inverse operation that we need to use is subtraction. So let's subtract 6x from the left side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract 6x from the right side as well. Now, as far as the left side of the equation, these 6x cancel each other out. We have positive 6x minus 6x. So again, they cancel each other out. So now we have 18 on the left side equals, and then on the right side, we have 8x minus 6x. We can subtract those like terms there. That gives us 2x. And then we can bring down the rest of that side of the equation, so minus two. Now we have 2x minus two on the right side equals 18 on the left side. Now the variable is on one side of the equation and we can look to solve. We need to isolate that variable of x by using inverse operations and going in the reverse order of operations. So we need to undo the subtraction first. The inverse operation of subtraction is addition so let's add two to the right side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So add two to the left side as well. Now on the right side, we are subtracting two and adding two. So these twos cancel each other out. And now we just have two X equals, and then on the left side, 18 plus two gives us 20. So now we have 2x on the right side equals 20 on the left side. So 2 times x equals 20. Let's isolate that variable of x by using the inverse operation. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So divide the right side by 2. That means we need to divide the left side by 2 as well. On the right side, we are multiplying by 2 and dividing by 2. So these 2s cancel each other out x is now isolated. So we have x equals, and then on the left side, 20 divided by two 
gives us 10. So x equals 10. That's our solution. Now let's check that solution by plugging 10 in for x. So let's come to the side here. So we have 6, plug in 10 for x. And then we can see if this works. Let's start with the left side here. So we have 10 plus 3 in parentheses. That gives us 13. And then 6 times 13 gives us 78. Now we need to check the right side. If we are correct, if x does equal 10, then that side will equal 78 as well. Let's start with the parentheses. So we have 4 times 10, which is 40, minus 1 is 39. So now we have 2 times 39, which is 78. Both sides are equal. They both equal 78. So we are correct. X equals 10. Let's move on to number two and try another example. Let's jump into number two here where we have negative four and then in parentheses, 3a minus nine and parentheses equals three and then in parentheses, negative seven a plus nine end parentheses. Let's start by using the distributive property to remove the parentheses. On the left side, we need to distribute negative four to three a and negative nine. Keep in mind, we are using the sign that is in front. So that's a negative four that we are distributing. On the right side, we need to distribute three to negative seven a and nine. Let's start with the left side of the equation here. So we have negative four times three a that gives us negative 12 a. Then we have negative four times negative nine. Remember a negative times a negative equals a positive. So this gives us plus 36 equals. And then on the right side, we will start with three times negative seven a that gives us negative 21 a. And then we have three times nine, which gives us 27. So plus 27. So now we can look to combine any like terms on either side if we have any, which we don't, but we do have variables on both sides. So again, we need to get the variable on one side of the equation. Let's get rid of the variable with the coefficient that is smaller in value, that number in front of the variable that is smaller in value. That's going to be negative 21a. This will help us keep our coefficient positive and just make things a little simpler to work with. Now that's a negative 21a, so we need the inverse operation. That's going to be addition. We want to add a positive 21a in order to get rid of the variable from that side. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So add 21a to the left side as well. Now on the right side of the equation, we have a negative 21a plus a positive 21a. So these cancel each other out. And now we just have 27 on the right side equals, and then on the left side, we have negative 12a plus a positive 21a. That gives us positive 9a and then bring down the rest of the left side of the equation, so plus 36. And now we have 9a plus 36 equals 27. So we need to undo that addition first. What's the inverse operation of addition? Well, subtraction. So subtract 36 from the left side, and then we need to subtract 36 from the right side as well. On the left side, we are adding 36 and subtracting 36. So these 36s cancel each other out. Now we have 9a equals, and then on the right side, we have 27 minus 36. 
that gives us negative 9. So now we have 9a equals negative 9. 9 times a equals negative 9. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, division. Divide the left side by 9. That means we need to divide the right side by 9 as well. On the left side, we are multiplying by 9 and dividing by 9. These 9s cancel each other out. A is now isolated. So we have A equals, and then on the right side, negative 9 divided by 9 gives us negative 1. So A equals negative 1, and that's our solution. Now let's check that solution by plugging in negative 1 for A and seeing if this works. So we have negative 4 and then 3 times negative 1 minus 9 equals 3 and then negative 7 times negative 1 plus 9. Let's go through the left side of the equation first, where we will start with the parentheses. So we have 3 times negative 1. And let's do this step by step here. So this gives us negative 3 minus 9. Negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12. And then we have negative 4 times negative 12 which gives us 48. Now for the right side. So let's start with the parentheses and we will go step by step here. So negative seven times negative one gives us a positive seven plus nine. So now we have seven plus nine, which is 16. And then we end with three times 16, which is 48. So both sides equal 48 here. We are correct. A equals negative one. So there you have it. There's how to solve equations with the distributive property on both sides. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.